Hey guys, it's Neon, and I'm here with Pinky Boo. Hi, Pinky Boo's here, and we're gonna do an unboxing and review of a Wacom One Creative Pen Display digital art tablet. Now, we did a review about a year ago of a 13-inch Cintiq, and our friends at Wacom actually reached out and asked us if we wanted to take a look at the One tablet, which is another 13 inch unit, but the thing about this one is it's very budget conscious. It's very budget friendly. This is a uh, $399 tablet. We're gonna unbox it. We're gonna let Pinky Boo do the unboxing. Then we're gonna do some art. Yep, let's flip this over. There we go. Okay, let's pull this out if we can. Um, all right, it comes out a little hard. Let's see here. Let me just slide it out. Wait, we'll it's get hard it. to do with like only three hands, not four. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what do we got? Let's see what's in the box here, guys. Let's get started. Connect the Wacom One to your computer, install the latest driver, and register your tablet. So let's see what we got in the box. All right. Yep, this is. Oh, that's light. Yeah, why don't you take it? You all compared to the other ones, yeah. I haven't had a tablet. Well, we're going to get Pinky Boo using this tablet. She's, you've actually never used any of the art tablets before, have you? I, um, I did do digital art like twice, but I had to teach myself to draw with a mouse. Yeah, let's see here. So I don't know if that's so well, sad Pinky, or not. Some sad. That's nice. Oh, this is a, yeah, stylus is, I like the, the color scheme on these because most Wacom, uh, everything is like black. This is really light. That would probably be all the hookups. So let's see what else we got in the box here. Oops. This is the clip. This is a lot of Is that the clip? No, it's charger. Okay. And we have the hmm. plug. And then we have some wires. My lots, favorite. Lots of wires. So we are going to hook this unit up. There's our instructions. Yep. We're going to hook this unit up. And, oh, I like how they hide the they hide the nibs. We'll get hooked up, and we'll be back, and we'll do some tests on it, and then we're going to draw some stuff. So stick around. Let's do a size comparison of the Wacom One. This is the Wacom One. This is my 13-inch Cintiq. I did a review of this about a year and a half ago. And this is my iPad Pro 12.9-inch tablet and I use this for quick sketching sometimes so you can see you know about how big this unit is you know again just to compare there's an iPad here is the Wacom One now the Wacom One is about the same size as the 13 inch Cintiq there are some differences the Wacom One is actually plastic it's, it's very sturdy but it is uh, plastic let me turn this over here and you can see on the back here that, you know, it's plastic, it's sturdy. I mean, it is is very sturdy. It's not uh, quite as sturdy, in my opinion, as the Cintiq, but you're talking about a unit that is uh, effectively half the price. And you can see how the feet pop out. Uh, you can see the extra nibs. And yeah, now compare this to the 13 inch Cintiq, which again, we're talking a $399 unit versus an $800 unit. And you can see this is metal. Um, you know, it is a little bit tougher. These these actually pop out, they're spring-loaded. And, uh, you know, there are a lot more inputs and whatnot. Also, the Cintiq has a touch screen on it. That's something that we do not have on the Wacom One. However, if you're like me, you probably don't use touchscreen very often anyway, if you're doing drawing. So it's not really a loss. I don't think it's a loss, not for the price. Uh, hooking up the Wacom One is very, very simple. I really like these, uh, these new cables. It's kind of an all-in-one cable. And uh, let me show this to you. This actually, they do include an AC adapter, but uh, I love this because these smaller tablets, I use them on my laptop. There's one. There's two. 
and then the uh, the HDMI, right? And then look at this. There's one connector. I just plug it in like that, and I'm good to go. Uh, very easy to connect. This is probably the easiest tablet I've ever connected to a computer before. So there is that. That's definitely a perk uh, for me, for sure, because a lot of tablets, they have you know very complicated hookups. And this one is very easy. Definitely, they had laptops in mind. It's very, very easy to connect this tablet to your computer. Now, you're probably wondering how it performs. Uh, it performs like a Wacom which is good, right? I mean, for $399, I'm very impressed with the performance of this tablet. Again, it's not very big, but it is a great tablet to have, uh, like I said, to connect to a laptop uh, for drawing on the go. And it is much more responsive, in my opinion, than even my iPad Pro is with the Apple Pencil. And it's, it's a lot sturdier too. I mean, even though this unit is made of plastic. It's it's very sturdy. You, you can definitely you know put some weight on this, and it's it's not going to budge. But let's look at the performance. Um, you know it's it's a Wacom. There's no there's no jitter. You know um, it really doesn't get any better than this. You know I've yet to find another brand that uh, performs quite like uh, like a Wacom does. You know there's. Zero jitter, look at that. You know, even when you're zipping right along. Let's pick a little watercolor here and see what we can do. You know, it's I'll talk about the tech specs here in a minute or two, but uh, sensitivity is great. Like I said, it performs just like a bigger Wacom unit uh, for a fraction of the price. I mean, I think this is probably the most affordable uh, Wacom tablet on the market. I think it's a great, great entry level tablet uh, for folks that want to get into doing digital art, but don't want to break the bank doing it, but they still want performance. And this definitely definitely performs. Now we're gonna be doing some drawing. I'll show you some of the drawings that we did. And uh, Pinky Boo is gonna be doing some drawing too. And this is actually her first time ever using a tablet. So this should be pretty interesting. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do some drawing with Pinky Boo. She's actually this is the first time she's used a digital art tablet. And uh, this is a good tablet for, I think for beginners for students. Um, and she's gonna do some drawing here in Clip Studio. Sketchy. Yeah, you want to pick a pencil. So let's um, let's pick. Uh, yeah, there's. So we got real pencil here. That's in. This is in uh, Clip Studio. So there, you're already a real pencil. Yep. So you can change the different tools. So does it feel like like you're drawn for real? It's like paper, but expensive. <laughs> it's like expensive paper. Actually, yeah, that's the one thing I like about the Wacom's is. And you can push a little bit harder. You can make the pencil lead bigger if you want to. Yeah. See, if you push harder, you can. It's just like drawn for real. And I think I, I mentioned it before is that the stylus on the one does not have an eraser on the end of it, like the more expensive Wacom's. So you actually would have to use the eraser tool here. Um, right, right here, if you need to erase. Sorry, I'm just like casually. No drawing. pressure. <laughs> no pressure, chalk. But how's it, I mean, it, it feels like actual pencil, right? Yeah, it, it does but I'm just like not used to it because my pencils are very pigmented compared to this. Yeah, well you can actually use the pencil tool like colored pencil and you can blend stuff and... I don't know what pose I'm trying to do here. I'm just like mixing them all together. The nice thing about this, cause Pinky Boo's never worked digitally before. Well, I did once, but it was on like a really, really, really old um, a drawing tablet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was very confused because I didn't know how anything worked. Oh, okay. oh, wow, now she has a toothpick for like. Well, the nice thing about this though is you can actually work in layers. So you can draw, do your pencil drawing first and then you can do I've uh, done your inking over top of it. Some pencil, or not some pencil, <laughs> some digital art, but the most serious digital art I've ever done was on um, 
Photoshop, so I don't know if that says anything, but... Well, you know. actually, a lot of digital artists use Photoshop. They do. And you can, you know, Photoshop actually works really good in this, too. I'm just going to sketch a little yeah. weave on her. Also, I've noticed that I never draw dudes. I don't know why, it's just I'm so bad at them, like, I'm not going to draw one. That's why all my OCs are girls. Actually, I know I do have one. That's a, I do. Mm. I have two. But they're not the prettiest. Um. Because I cannot draw them. It's, it's a curse. But I'm just like, doing whatever this is. <laughs> wow, now she looks like she's from Steven Universe. <laughs> You just need to throw a gem in your belly. There you go. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to give you some final thoughts on the Wacom One tablet. As I do so, I'm going to draw you in Uncle Scrooge. I drew this 100% on the Wacom One tablet. I used to draw Disney comics professionally. It's the first time I've actually drawn the new version of Uncle Scrooge from DuckTales. So, uh, you know, we'll see how I do. Anyway, um, final thoughts. Yeah, I think it's a really good tablet for the price. It does start at $399. Uh, for a Wacom screen tablet, that's incredibly cheap. Uh, the performance is great. It's what you would expect from a Wacom. Uh, the pen pressure, as I understand it, is uh, 4,096 levels. The tilt angle support is 60 degrees. I know those of you out there want to know uh, those numbers, those specs. Um, it is a 13.3 inch display. It does not support USB-C as I understand it. And um, one big drawback for me personally is that the stylus does not have an eraser. Uh, I was very confused. I didn't realize that this unit didn't have an eraser. I went to erase and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna scratch my, my screen up. So just be aware that with this tablet, uh, there are some features from a higher end Cintiq that you will not be getting. But again, where it counts in the actual drawing ability for this tablet, uh, it really does it very, very well, especially for the price. I mean, again, I also own a 13 inch uh, Wacom Cintiq tablet, HD tablet, and the performance is comparable. I think it's it's pretty much identical. I know some some of you out there who maybe are, you know, more into this kind of tech than I am might notice more of a difference, but I didn't notice any difference in, in performance. Uh, straight up drawing, there were features, you know, that were available on the Cintiq that we didn't have on the Wacom One, uh, like touchscreen, uh, like USB-C support. The Cintiq is sturdier, it's made of metal, but that doesn't mean that the One is cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. In fact, it feels sturdier than some of the more expensive uh, off-brand tablets I, I purchased in the past. Uh, again, for $399, you're getting a pretty good tablet. I mean, you're getting a really good tablet. It is Wacom, so you know you're gonna get uh, the performance that you want. It's very, very easy to hook up. Uh, it's very light. You can slip this unit into a laptop bag and take it with you. Like I said, it, it hooks up uh, fantastically to my laptop. It's a great portable option. Uh, personally, I like drawing on a bigger screen, but if you're on the go, um, I think the uh, the hookups not being very cumbersome is a huge bonus for me because I don't want to have to have a separate power supply and all that that stuff. Uh, so this is great. I just hook it in the laptop and I'm ready to go. Um, it's a great unit for students. You know, Pinky Boo, she's 12. She's never really used a tablet before and she's probably going to be using this one because she actually had a, a pretty good experience with it and I'm going to get her uh, used to drawing digitally. So I would say, yeah, it's definitely for the money, it's a buy. Uh, for me, again, I think it's a great entry point. Now, obviously, if you are a professional or you need a bigger tablet or you just want more bells and whistles, you're probably gonna wanna invest in, in a Cintiq. But for the price, um, I think it's a great starting point. I, I really, you know, I have to give praise to Wacom for realizing that there is a market and absolutely for lower end tablets that don't sacrifice performance. So if you're looking for a great entry level Wacom tablet, uh, I recommend it. I'll put a link in the description. You can buy one if you're interested. Uh, great little unit, actually exceeded my expectations. 
Again, the price point is fantastic for Wacom. If you're looking for more art and animation videos, subscribe to Clownfish Animation. We're gonna be posting more art and animation videos over there. If you're looking for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, sub to this channel. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.